okay hello everyone in this class we are going to discuss about electric field intensity due to a uniformly charged circular ring we have to find out the electric field intensity at any arbitrary point which is placed on its axis or along x axis okay so let's start consider a circular ring this one having the center is at o radius is r and uniformly charged right this is the positive x axis or horizontal axis passed through its center we have to find out the electric field intensity at point p due to this whole circular ring which is uniformly charged and this point p is at a distance x from the center this is the y axis which is perpendicular to the x axis to find out the electric field intensity at point p due to this whole circular whole uniformly charged circular ring consider a elementary length on this circular ring that is your dl at point a suppose this is the dl on the small element at a point okay at a point now due to this dl electric field intensity direction at point p will be along this that means along ap suppose due to dl electric field intensity at point p will be de which is along the direction of ap and this angle suppose this angle is your theta this angle also will be theta and obviously this d has two components one will be the horizontal component and another will be vertical horizontal component along positive x axis direction will be d cos theta i cap that means positive x axis direction and another will be vertical means along negative y axis direction that will be d sin theta minus j cap so here both the components here okay along the horizontal component this is your d cos theta magnitude and along vertical this will be d sin theta magnitude okay now another element we have been considered at this point at point b just exactly opposite to the point a this is the point a and exactly opposite to the point a we have been considered another point here at point b okay and at point b also we consider another elementary length dl right now due to this dl at point p what will be the electric field or along which direction along this direction along bp direction de due to dl this dl element so due to this de it has also two components one will be the horizontal component this will be theta means also this will be theta because this uh, element is exactly opposite to this element so obviously these these two angles also will be theta and this de has two components along this x axis positive x axis that is your d cos theta i cap and one will be the positive y axis direction that will be d sin theta j cap direction here we can perceive one thing that from this figure that d sin theta j cap and here d sin theta minus j cap that means these two sin theta components are equal in magnitudes and opposite with each other so they are going to be cancelled with each other vectorially so if i am going to add these two components sin theta components then we are going to get the zero value so due to these two elements which is at one is at a and one is at b the electric field intensity at point p will be the addition of these two cos theta components that will be the addition of cos theta components <coughs> 
a resultant intensity that means resultant intensity at point p is the addition of fully cos theta components likewise if we are going to consider these two elements also at point p the electric field intensity will be add up of the cos theta components and cancelled the sin theta components so finally here we concluded that at point p if we are going to consider all the elements on this circumference of the uh, uniformly charged ring at this point the net or resultant electric field intensity will be the addition of cos theta component where sin theta component will be equal to if i will add all the sin theta component then this will be zero right now we are going to uh, calculate what will be the value or magnitude at point p magnitude of electric field intensity at point p due to this whole circular ring okay so let's calculate so for the calculation this length will be required a to p here o to p distance is your x o to a radius is your r so obviously this will be root over of r square plus x square r square plus x square right now we are going to calculate the value or magnitude of electric field intensity at point p so here whatever we have been discussed in this slide i written shortly you can uh, you can write in your note for your exam point of view for 5 to 6 mark question this is enough this write up is enough for 5 to 6 mark question so whatever we have been discussed uh, in this slide in short i have been written over here so how to calculate the resultant electric field intensity at point p here suppose let us linear charge density that means charge per unit length on this circumference of this ring let is your lambda that means charge per unit length charge per unit length <coughs> now charge on any element dl here we consider dl our element okay so if in unit length that means in one length if charge is your lambda then for dl length it will be lambda into dl so simple right now let d be the electric field intensity electric field intensity at point p due to dl due to this dl suppose electric field intensity at point p is your d what also we have been discussed in our previous slide so this value will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 charge by distance here charge will be how much charge on dl is your lambda into dl so lambda into dl by distance distance means from a to p a to p this distance this distance is your r square plus x square root over and we know that if this is a charge q and we have to find out the electric field intensity at point suppose p and this distance is x so electric field intensity is your 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into q by x square x square so if this is the distance then its square will be only f r square plus x square right okay now d has two components such as cos theta i cap along px along px okay and d sin theta minus j cap along p y dash these are the th notes whatever i am i am reading you just write in your note now consider another element dl exactly diametrically opposite position at b so this is the first position or at point a due at point a due to this dl electric field intensity is this one another point we considered b at this point b also dl we have been considered and the electric field intensity along this direction so same thing it has been written due to this element the electric field intensity at p will be along bp along bp okay having the same magnitude as it is found due to the element dl at a this electric field intensity has two components 
one is your uh, one is along x component that means along x axis along positive x axis okay along positive x axis that we discussed and another will be along py as shown in the figure this one along py direction okay the vertical components that means d sin theta this one and this one are equal magnitude and opposite in direction will be cancelled with each other here i forgot to write uh, this one this one will be j cap you just write okay and this will be minus j cap okay okay and here i forgot to write this will be i cap and this will be also i cap you have to write in your note right now the vertical components are to be cancelled with each other as they are equal magnitudes and opposite directions hence resultant intensity e at this point p will be the addition or integration of all individual intensities due to all the elements on the ring so here we consider only these two elements if we are going to consider here is one element here is another element both are opposite with each other then the net electric field intensity at point will be the addition of the cos theta components likewise here we are going to consider one element and here we are going to consider another element the electric field intensity due to these two elements this one and this one uh, will also be the considered the cos theta component and sin theta component will be cancelled out right now so all the elements on the ring the individual intensity of all the elements so electric field intensity the resultant electric field intensity will be the integration or addition of d cos theta component so here this value that means integration of this value integration of this value this value here it has been written 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 uh, lambda dl by r square uh, plus x square and cos theta cos theta here you can see if we are going to consider this triangle a o p then cos theta will be equal to base by diagonal that which is x by this one same thing it has been written x by r square plus x square root over i cap okay so here you can see this is your x r square plus x square and this is your to the power 1 by 2 so obviously this will be to the power 3 by 2 i cap okay because net electric field intensity will be along positive x axis direction now these are all the constants if i am going to consider dl dl means all the elements we are going to add so considering dl this term is a constant can be taken outside so here we have been taken outside this term and we are going to integrate dl that is an angle from 0 to 2 pi r that means if we are going to consider whole circular ring whole circular ring means from here to here the angle will be 2 pi r or length length total length will be 2 pi r right so this will be integrated from 0 to 2 pi r so uh, here you can see after integration we can found 2 pi r i cap and 2 pi r into lambda lambda is the charge for unit length charge for unit length charge in one length you can say one length one length so for 2 pi r length it will be 2 pi r into lambda which will be the total charge on the uh, on the on the on the circumference of the ring okay because 2 pi r is nothing but this much length total length of the circle so circular ring okay so here 2 pi r into lambda will be equal to q we have been considered that that is your total charge q into x and denominator is nothing changed same thing here it has been written so finally we found the final expression that this one 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q x by r square plus x square to the power 3 by 2 i cap that means if a any point arbitrary point will be on x axis the electric field intensity at that point will be equal to 
this much okay here we discussed the two special cases suppose the point will be taken suppose this is the point initially uh, is at x distance and this point it will be situated at center here that means this x value will be zero if this x value i am going to put zero then whole electric field intensity will be equal to zero now we are going to consider this x distance that means from origin to this point observation point will be so large suppose we are going to consider so large that means x is very very large distance as compared with the radius that means radius will be neglected as compared with this distance so in this expression i am going to neglect this r as compared with x when x is very very greater than that of the r so the final expression we can found 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 here r will be neglected means we, we can found qx by x square qx by x q so here you can say q qx by here x square to the power 3 by 2 that means uh, x to the power 3 so here x uh, and x q one x is cancelled so we finally we can found 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by x square this is equivalent to a point is situated at this point a point charge a point charge having charge q is situated at this point here and this is observation point which is distance at x so when x is so large this is circular uh, circular ring is to be considered as a point okay so this is all about the electric field intensity at any arbitrary point of a circular ring uniformly charged circular ring okay so this much note you have to write for your exam point of view and here i'm going to say to you one thing that this topic is uh, is useful for your plus two exams plus two uh, exam that means here whatever we have been discussed is dominantly for the plus two exams and also this topic is also useful for the bsc exam in your second semester this topic also uh, is there for the six mark five to six mark uh, question this much write up is enough okay in our next class we are going to discuss electric field due to electric dipole so content has been ready already in our next class we are going to discuss okay so thank you so much for watching this video like and subscribe and stay tuned with us for the next class okay thank you